All right, here's our video review on the quiz for simplifying and multiplying radicals. Taking a look at number one, we have radical 112, and we need to simplify this, and the way we're going to do that is we have to factor out the largest possible perfect square factor from 112. Now, if you don't know the factors of 112, you can divide. But remember, I'm not allowing a calculator on this quiz, so you'll have to do that by hand. Or you could do some prime factorization. So that means we're going to take 112 and break it into all the possible prime numbers. So we're going to start off by saying, all right, 112 is even, so let's divide it by 2. 112 divided by 2 is 56, and 2 is a prime number, so we're going to stop there. 56 is also even, and we can break 56 into 2 times 28. 28 is even, so we can break that into 2 times 14. 14 is even. So we could break that into 2 times 7. And what we can do is we could take every pair of the same prime number, and that's going to become part of our perfect square. So we have two pairs of 2s, all right? So 2 times 2 here, that's 4. And this 2 times 2, that's 4. And so what we have is 4 times 4 times 7, and 4 times 4 is 16. And so 16 is the largest possible perfect square factor of 112. So we can break 112 into 16 times 7. Next, we want to go ahead and separate both of these into their own radicals. So we have radical 16 times radical 7. And we do this because we know what the square root of 16 is. It's 4. So this becomes 4. And then radical 7 cannot be simplified any further so we just put it here right next to it. And so radical 112 simplifies to 4 radical 7. And that's our answer. For number 2, we need to simplify radical 96. Once again, if you do not know the factors, you can divide or you can do prime factorization. I'm going to show you prime factorization here just one more time. So 96 is even. We could break it into 2 times something. 2 times what? 2 times 48. 48 is even. We can break it into 2 times 24. 24 is even. We can break it into 2 times 12. 12 is even. We can break it into 2 times 6. And 6 is even. We can break it into 2 times 3. Now, we have 5 twos. However, we can only take pairs. So we have here basically... One, two pairs of twos. And again, we already know two times two is four. Two times two is four. And then this two we can't use, so let's just multiply this back together. Two times three is six. Four times four is 16. So basically we have 16 times six. That's 96. So we can break 96, radical 96, into radical 16 times 6, and then separate them once again into their own radicals, radical 16 times radical 6, and again the square root of 16 is 4, so this becomes 4 radical 6, and that's our final answer, and no, they're not all going to be 4 radical something, it is just a coincidence that on this review sheet, these first two ended up being 4 radical something. For number three, we have four radical 128. Now remember, this is multiplication. This means four times the square root of 128. So let's go ahead and factor this. 128 breaks into 64 times two. So we're gonna say four times radical 64 times two. And now we can go ahead and separate these. So we're gonna have four times radical 64 times radical 2. And we know what the square root of 64 is. It is 8. So this becomes 4 times 8 times radical 2. And 4 times 8 is 32. And radical 2 can no longer be simplified. So our answer is 32 radical 2. So for number four, we're doing some multiplication. So we have radical 12 times radical 3. 
And if you're multiplying two radicals together, you could just combine them together in one radical. So we could have radical 12 times 3. And then we can multiply. 12 times 3 is 36. So we have radical 36. And we know what the square root of 36 is, positive or negative 6. For the purposes of the quiz, all I care about is the positive number. So our answer here is 6. For number 5, we have radical 8 times radical 15. We could join them together under one radical. So radical 8 times 15. And 8 times 15 is 120. So this becomes radical 120. And if we do prime factorization of 120, we see here, okay, 120 is even. So that's going to be 2 times 60. 60 comes from 2 times 30. 30 comes from 2 times 15. And 15 comes from 3 times 5. So these are all our prime numbers. And remember, we could only take pairs. So the only pair we have here is a pair of 2's. So that's going to be 4 times, and then 2 times 3 times 5 is 30. So this is what we can break radical 120 into, is radical 4 times 30. We split them up. Radical 4 times radical 30, and the square root of 4 is 2. So our answer is 2 radical 30. Last one here, number 6, we have radical 15 times radical 20. So we're going to join them in the same radical. Radical 15 times 20, and 15 times 20 is 300. So this becomes radical 300. So what perfect square factor can we factor out of 300? 100. So 300 becomes... 100 times 3, so we have here radical 100 times radical 3, and the square root of 100 is 10. So our answer is 10 radical 3. All right, I hope that you do well on the quiz. Good luck.